My name is Mike Russell, and, and I work in a Charles Hayes for about seven years as a various jobs. Right now, I'm a, a counselor who teaches as well. Um, love my job, and uh, well, the last few years, I've I've always had the travel bug, and um, whenever there's an opportunity for me to offer students a more enriching experience than than they might get from being in the classroom every single day, I'll take it in a, in a heartbeat. And as a traveler myself, any time I can take students somewhere internationally, somewhere out of their comfort zone, somewhere where they've never been, um, I think the learning is so substantial and, and rich. I don't know if there is a better way to educate kids than to get them traveling, especially somewhere out of their country, out of completely departed from what they're used to. So this is the second trip that we've uh, we've taken and uh, the grade 11s and 12s, some of them, 24 of them and a few adults and myself, we uh, we went to Vietnam and Cambodia and Thailand for 12 days uh, which was a big eye-opener. Um, a couple years ago we went to Athens, Florence and Rome which became a, it was a different kind of trip. I mean we were there to see the Acropolis, we were there to see the Colosseum and and experience the culture that way but it was very much a you know we're Canadian we can we can go to this place and appreciate it and get the Western history out of it um, whereas this trip was very much more about the uh, I'm happy I'm a Canadian trip uh, because we've gone to three developing nations um, and uh, we got to see a lot of how the the rest of the world lives a lot of the world lives and I think it was it's the best form of education you can get to have kids coming from a place like Prince Rupert where you know a lot of people we, we come from stable families stable homes uh, good income sometimes you know good house two cars you know five TVs whatever it might be um, and there's nothing wrong with that I mean I'm, I'm one of them too but but um, it's nice to get a bit of a gut check every once in a while and take stock of what we have and appreciate what we have when we see people who are trying to survive by you know washing themselves out of an oil drum or you know um, throwing boa constrictors on babies in order to to get money in order to put food on the table living on you know a dollar a day or less um, it really makes you think about things and I'm sure that the students on this trip that we just took uh, have got a lot of food for thought that will probably stick with them for the rest of their lives and how could I ask for any more than that